Okay. Okay, so we don't want to take our herdables, guys. We want to take our berries with the sieves. That we're trying to optimize the sieves bonuses. Okay. So that's 250 food right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time it. So we take our boar. I think you can go five on food. I think with the location of the berries, I think we can go five on food. Yeah, and then we'll take our... Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard to see everything because I'm yellow right now. Oops, misclick. Okay. Perfect. Garrison six sheep in there. And now we go to... Oh, we got to take straggler trees for wood. Forgot about that because we made the mill early. Okay. So this gives us more food. So I feel like... I mean, we've got to develop a build for this. But to me, it feels like you don't even need to have this villager on berries. Might as well keep him there. Our sheep says, so if I sub him today, he gets the bonus. 100%, dude. 100% I do. Now, do we want to put the other two sheep in there? I mean, it does help. I guess if we don't need them, we just toss them in there. Yeah, if we don't need them, we just toss them in there. Um, I think we want to go... A lot of this depends on the strat we're going to go for. Trying to adjust, adjust, adjust. Lumber camp. Okay. Take the boar. Now, I'm not going to steal his sheep. Yo, Jacob, thank you for the stars. Jeez, guys, you have uh, been flooding me with too much support today. Okay. But yeah, our eco is pretty solid. Like that, that build order right there, guys. That is how I think this sieve should be played right now. Now, I, I don't know. Like you can make arguments that maybe it's not like a ton of food income. But you can take that later. And it's like having an extra villager and a half on food, I believe, based on the math I've heard. So, um, now what type of an uptime can we pull off with this? I don't know. I haven't done it enough times yet. Also, don't know why that villager walked around like that. Like, the real question will be, can I up to Feudal Age without... Let's make a farm. Without taking any of my sheep. Keep in mind, I don't have a lot of vills on berries right now. I really haven't had berry income. Now, this is, this is like... Also, a lot of work. I can up to feudal age so quick. Oh, no, no, no. You idiots. This is a good build order, man. Like, this is an Arabia build order to go up fast feudal without any of my food. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, tweak it a little bit. So it's going to play out like a scout build, and he's going to think I'm going to kill him, but I'm not going to. Yet. <laughs> um, Jordan, from what I've heard, ads are like very different for everyone on this platform. Some people see them, some people don't see them at all. I, you know, I, I, I can't really say, like, I can't give too much info on what to do about that. Um, if it's excessive, though, I would say look into some things and see what happens. Agna. 
But yeah, I, it's weird because some people get it, some people don't, regardless of ad block or whatever. Okay, so... I want to look at the tech tree again. Okay, so... Burp, burp, burp. Thank you, Arshdeep, for the sub, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Chakram Tower. So I guess we want to boom into our unique unit, right? I think that makes sense. I just wanted to see if there was any eco bonuses we were missing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for our wood and our farm upgrade and just go for a lot of farm up farms. Yes. That's all we're going to do here. Yeah. I, I, again, I think this is worth it. Look at our food eco. I think a fast castle, if I if I would have tweaked things a little more, I think I could have a sick fast castle build with this sieve. Look at my food count. This is this is gonna be amazing. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the pathing. Okay, so we're just gonna rush horse color. Rush horse color farms. Seems fine. And now we have a lot of natural food income. Yeah, like if this sip pushes deer, they're in a really good spot, so you would ideally want to deny that as well as denying a sheep. Um... Huh. Feels like I need. I mean, I obviously need more farms. Okay. I don't want to have less than I have right now on wood. Oh, there's more deer. Okay, I'll just push that, I guess. I was kind of hoping there would be extra deer. How many farms do we have? Okay, so we've got 10 farms plus berries plus our sheep in there. Seems fine. But now nah, I'm not going to fight his scout because he wasn't even in feudal age yet, so I would win that regardless. Okay. But yeah, we should test that. Alright, so we can go blacksmith market already. Man, this is insane! Actually went to gold too late. Get more on gold. This is honestly insane. Even without the extra deer. This feels really strong. Now, granted, I it probably would feel strong with other sips too. I don't get to play a lot of games like this, where I where I do this, um, but it still does feel very fast. And like people were saying that this this needs to be buffed before it was even played, and I was saying like, Dark Age eco bonuses are not something to joke around about. You got to be real careful. About going too crazy with Dark Age Eco bonuses because even if it's moderately strong, it's gonna feel so strong later because everything snowballs. Okay, not perfect because we got to idle our TC. And get it in this one. There you go. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go unique unit. Um, I'm gonna auto camel now. Okay, I almost feel like not even taking the berries right now because of everything. He's gonna be in Castle H faster than us, but we're gonna be in a position to make a lot of our unique unit. Typically, this type of build isn't good for full boom, it's good for making a lot of military early castle. So I don't think this is necessarily giving us a good chance to win the game. But we're going to be able to make some of this unit and see what happens. Hmm. 
If you go crazy with Dark Age Eco bonuses, you get Franks, and you don't want Franks again. Well, they only have a Forge bonus, right? To be fair to Franks. But yes, that Forge bonus is nice. It's more so uh, that combined with their, their other Eco bonuses. Guys, look at our resources. We're at 16 minutes. We'll be at Castle Age at like 1640, okay? We have so many resources. Whoops. Let's go here. If I can still go for a boom... Yeah, he's up like a little before us with a fast castle. We can still go for a 3 TC boom. This is amazing. Everything feels very strong. Okay, TC. What upgrade? 3 TCs. And then we'll eventually get a castle. Let's go, baby. Um, make two houses here for now. Look at that food income. I hope he doesn't attack my mill. <laughs> he's scouting our base. We should scout his to see what he's doing. Uh, I could be greedy and go four TCs. I don't think that's the play here. No! It is interesting. Like, we've only had... Um, you know, when I look at the architecture, it's a little jarring because I'm not used to having the same architecture for all these civs. I feel like I should get relics. Because we only had one civilization with this architecture before, right? I think a castle here would make sense. Their eco is insane. Aha! Does he have a bonus? I think he has a bonus for that. Yes. He's Dravidians. Does he have a bonus there? So he gets plus 200 wood. Fishermen and fishing ships carry plus 15. So I don't think carrying plus 15 really matters there, but he's gone for fish traps, which helps his boom. Okay, go. Yes. We got to establish a time. Okay, he wants minute 35. I don't like how confident he is now. <laughs> and suddenly bring up attacking and he's all about it. Okay. okay, probably time to get wheelbarrow out of one of these TCs. Gonna get housed a little bit, but not a lot of it, so we good a bit. I also speak for a living, by the way. Um, this castle will go up. These guys go there. I think this unit costs 60 food? I forget. I hope he's not docking there. That'd be cheating. 65-30. kind of want to make that unit. I don't know if it's going to be strong. So it's weak against archers, good against everything else. Got a big eco, that's for sure. Check his TC. Okay, so he doesn't have any any uh, 
signs that he's going archer units. I want to go for rams. Military units cost 25% less food. Ooh. Is that that much of a savings, though? I don't think that's that much of a savings. Like for the for the unit I'm gonna make. Does that does it, wait? My elephant is siege. Does that count for the elephant? If it counts for the elephant, that could be sick. Does anyone know? Hmm. Of course you guys don't know. You're like I can't even play this yet. Maybe it's been discussed somewhere. I think it should still count. It is a form of military, after all. He said 35 minutes. Wow, we still have so much time until that until we get to 35 minutes. I should have gone four town centers, probably. I'm happy to get the relics, though. Actually, not go imp until we add another TC real quick. I'm gonna build that. We're scouting. The reason for this is one of my TCs is gonna be idle if I go in. Castles look amazing. And I, I don't want to have. If he's on four TCs, I don't want to do that. Okay, well, I'm, I'm comfortable going in now. Sounds good. And now I still have three TCs producing villagers. Because in this type of a game, rushing imp this early is a bit of a problem, possibly. Let's get this tech. We might not need much on gold, right? Okay. So we want to go rams? The plan is rams? I think we only need two siege workshops. Let's make one. I don't want him to see this. Get blacksmith up. Let's let's get attack and see if it applies to this. Okay. Elephant. the barracks for the barracks upgrades which will apply to our unique unit this civ really reminds me of malay wow so they benefit from the blacksmith upgrades that's actually sick that is actually sick and now my they are cheaper yo 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 yo, yo people okay so this unit like the units themselves we don't know how strong they are yet but I can tell you this, everything could be really cheap. And with their economy the way it is, it, like early imp is their time, right? So uh, waiting until 45 minutes might hurt our cause here. What's this? Camel riders, elephant archers. Okay, we don't need that. We do not need that with what we're going for. Any more eco upgrades? How do these units work? Our economy is insane. Our economy is insane. Elite Siege Elephant. Let's go. Get Town Watch in case he attacks. They did say minute 35. That's true. Not not 45. If that's the case, we should we should get ready. Okay, I think we idle our TC from here. I wanted to get chemistry because I think I get bomber cannons too. 
Let's see what the enemy's doing. He's got walls. Okay, I'll take your relic, though. Thank you. Yurumi Swordsman. Plus 12 attack? <laughs> what the crap is that thing? <laughs> what the crap is that thing? <laughs> Yurumi Swordsman. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's scary. Um, it's the, is it the UU? Dravidian. Okay, so Dravidian unique infantry unit which can charge its attack. Ah, I see. So its first attack is 12. The other ones are going to be lower. It is cheaper than our unit. Okay. Weak versus archers at long range. He's got ranged units. Now, does he? can he go hand cannons? He can go hand cannons. I think what he has here is a lot of gunpowder because he senses what we're going to do. But I'm now curious on how much of a tank our elephants are going to be. Because it feels like the elephants... Like, normally, Siege Ram could push this type of thing. So, I'm I'm very curious. We're about to find out. Yes. I'm gonna get Arson. Oh, wait. He wasn't Imp yet. Okay, there's a chance his gate opens when it completes. He thinks he's cool, but watch this. Ready? There's a chance the gate opens when this completes and we run out. Oh, there's a hole already. <laughs> Told ya! Alright. Um, sorry for the weird noise. Oh, he's got stuff there. Um... Okay, we definitely need to get gold. I just gotta get another castle for production. 35 minutes, huh? Actually, I don't want to make the trebs. We need our unique. Uh, we need our lead upgrade. Elephant archers. Oof. Okay. We knew that would be an option. I don't have that many units. Which I don't like. Any upgrades I'm missing? Maybe get that. Okay, so he's going to attack. This is funny. They're not as fast as I would have wanted. Oh, husbandry. Oh, he's got his own. I think my units should be good against that, though, right? Yo, what? I wreck those things. Good luck. You're going to need it. Elephant what? Elephant who? Oh, bloodlines too. Let's go, baby. Let's ram this down as well. So basically, they're really good against rams, which is essentially what this thing is. Sick. Uh, let's delete more pop, because we have plenty of pop space. They're not that great against the elephant archers. They're really good against the rams. So we got to take out his castles. And the rams are super tanky, so this is perfect. 
Uh, what other units can we make? Why would we want to make other units, actually? Okay, they die hard to the elephant archers. We gotta be careful. Um, what do I make against elephant archers, then? Is there another... Is there a unit I can make? I guess I could make my own? Okay, that castle should go down. Um... I want to make the cav unit. I think the cav unit is good. I mean, I'm going to have to mass it up, but maybe the cav unit says it dodges shots, so I don't know if that's like a good tank. It's so weird because your pierce armor isn't that good, so I don't know. Are these self-healing elephants? I have no freaking clue. I forget. Actually, for, uh, they attack faster. Oh, that's a problem. Guys, elephant archers with Indians were always strong before they made all these changes. That tech is a problem. And they regenerate oh, HP. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, that is an issue. Yes. I think the key right now is we don't fight where he wants us to fight. Maybe get relics. Okay. Like this thing, maybe? Supplies. Well, despise this time to get some upgrades here. These things are really not good. against my elephants. So I'm going to I'm going to try the uh whatever these things are called. They only cost 20 gold. I'll take out his castle too. Okay. What is a W? Okay, can't have that. Need more stables. Oh, God. Need more upgrades. How are elephants doing? Oh, my God! <laughs> Our elephants are insane! <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I was not actually... I was not expecting that. Um, I could also just get, like, mix and light cap, too. This, this is still very much an issue. Look at his dock, though. Um, this is expensive, but if we can get the rams in there, mix and like have two. Yeah, the ram tank is good. Maybe take out castles too. These things are insane. Do I get a Hussar? I wonder if I get Hussar. Wow, they're fast too. What in the world? Like, nothing here can be killed. However, Bombard Cannons is making a lot of sense for us.
Keep it up! That sucks. Okay. It's so weird. I instinctively keep wanting to take out his freaking castles when he doesn't even produce what's killing me out of his castles. I don't know. I can't really tell if my if my uh, tank unit is good, but it does feel like this combination is really strong. And I think we've won the game now. These these are siege elephants are in, just nuts, dude. And the fact it's discounted as well, GG. Wow. Now the thing is, siege ram is also good against elephant archers. So it's not as if. It's not as if it's unique that a siege weapon is strong against elfin archers. However, what I find to be insane about this is that it's more mobile, and the cost, with my unique tech, the cost of them is pretty darn cheap. Um, so, I don't know. Like, let's look at the eco here. How much did the eco matter? What? He completely wrecked us with Eco, man. Woo! It's so funny. It felt like so much stuff happened there, and yet I only had 187 kills. It's just because we had so many elephants. I think what won us the game, though, is like, if we fight in the choke, it's a problem. I think what won us the game was using the elephants on all the buildings. I think that really hurt him. Also, having relics is always nice, you know, for late game, but... So, okay, so what's my feeling on this civilization? First off, the armored elephants are like the key. Apart from that, though, this civilization, I mean, the eco thing is really nice in the early game. I don't think it's game-breaking, but I think it's nice. Um, the, the civ feels like Malay where everything's cheap. Like, I have a lot of army in queue and a lot of expensive army in queue, and I have 80 army already. So it very much feels like everything with this save is relatively cheap. Um, the, ch the chakrams here, I don't know. I wasn't like totally convinced with the chakrams until I saw siege. So it kind of reminds me of the Gabetto for the Malians, where I think it's good against siege, but not so good against ranged units, which is precisely what it says in the description of it. So with that in mind, you need something that's good against ranged units. Hmm. Now, I want to. Anyone want to rewatch that fight real quick? Let me see. Manos might want to play again. I don't want to lose him. Um, but. Oh, is he. Oh, it's somebody else right now. Okay. Um, shoot, I lost my place in the Discord. But yeah, uh, anyways. I want to rewatch that at some point and see how the units are attacking. Because you guys are telling me it's a bit like a scorpion. To be honest, I was so focused on the gameplay, I didn't really realize if it was. Are you guys saying it was damaging multiple elephants? Because it would explain why some of the fights felt so much better than others. You've got to, like, spread out the units. What's the description of the unit say? Um... I mean, not that the unit descriptions tend to be good. It doesn't really say anything about that, but I could see how maybe that was the case. The thing about the Civ is either A, you last longer because your units are cheap, or I think, honestly, no, I take that back. I don't think the Civ lasts longer because his units are cheap because they struggle with trash units. As far as I'm aware, I don't think they have... Okay, so let's see. Do they have Halb? They don't even have Pike. So this Civ is actually not about lasting long. This Civ is about using your cheap units and killing in the early Imperial Age. I think that's their window. And I think that that window works well, at least in that situation against Elephant Archers. GG.